Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chiana and I am a hobby artist. I thought I'd share my September art supply haul. I don't normally purchase many supplies. I try to use what I have, but my birthday was this month and I have very generous friends and family that like to support my hobby. So I have a ton of things to show you. I personally love watching art supply haul videos. So I thought maybe you would too. I'll be doing demos and reviews of all of these products over the next few weeks. So drop a comment about what you want to see first. I'm going to push all of these things off to the side and I'll just show you one by one. I apologize if you can hear my dog in the background. She's like Velcro, she doesn't leave my side and I don't want to shut her out of the room while I'm recording. You can hear her thunking around right now, trying to get comfortable. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show is just this really cute pencil case. It's a little cat and I love this because it'll stand upright, you can open it up, push it down, and when you're using it, when it's full of supplies, it just stands there and you can just grab what you need and you don't have things rolling all over the table, but everything's right at your fingertips. And I thought it was so cute because it's a little cat. And I'm gonna show you what I have to put in this. Okay, so I have what are called clutch pencils. The company is Koinor. You can get these on Amazon. And this is what's really cool about them. You press the top and it holds a two millimeter lead. They come with HB lead, which is great for just drawing. But what I got to go with these are a set of 6B, 8B, and then in this package, 2B and 4B leads. And let's open it up. This is how it comes. Two lead, two boxes of lead together. It's wrapped really tight, which is good. So hopefully the leads in here aren't broken. No, oh, they look good. So here are my 2B and my 4B. So I like having the different grades of lead. So that way I can get some really dark darks with my 6Bs and my 8Bs and I can get some lighter values with my 2Bs and my 4Bs. And I think how I'm gonna organize these pencils since these all came with HB leads, I think I'm gonna do them in rainbow order. So this will be HB, 2B, green comes before blue, 4B, 6B, and 8B. And I'll be able to stick these right into my pencil case. The great thing about clutch lead pencils is there's no waste of lead because there's nothing to sharpen. You can sharpen this if you want a fine point. Um, when you're not using them, you can shove the lead in and it's not gonna get all over the inside of the bag. I hate when the graphite gets things dirty. The back of this has a little sharpener. If you untwist this, that's actually a little sharpener. So when I pull the lead out, if I want nice, a nice sharp point, I can just spin it and I'll have a nice sharp lead. So I'm really excited to try these. I'll definitely be doing a sketch probably in one of my new sketchbooks for you guys to see. Stick those right in there. And these I'll keep at home probably for my spares. Now, out of all of these, I only got one broken lead and that's okay. I can still stick that little piece in the pencil. It'll work fine. But they're generally pretty protected in this case. So I like that. So the next thing in the pile are my Ink Tense Paint Pan Sets. That is not easy to say, Paint Pan Sets. I got the first set and the second set. For those of you that aren't familiar with ink tents, um, 
when it's set up like this, they're very much like watercolors. But once they're on paper and they're dry, they become permanent like ink, so they won't lift up like regular watercolor. I do have the pencil set and I love the pencils. I thought this would be a fun addition to the pencils because um, I can do washes without having to sharpen the pencils down to nothing just to do big wide swatches of, of washes. Um, it comes with a water brush and a little sponge so that way I can fill the water brush up and take this and throw this in my purse or in my art kit and it takes up almost no room. I'm really excited to try these. I know I'm gonna like them because I like the pencils. Right now, the best place to get the set number one is dickplick.com. Um, it's pretty inexpensive on their website. The second set is actually pretty hard to find. A lot of places, they're out of stock till after Christmas. I um, did see them on Amazon recently though, so if you're interested, you might be able to find them on Amazon. Okay, so the next thing I'm, well, I'm excited about everything. I was gonna say I'm excited about this, but let's be real, I'm excited about everything in this pile. This is a sketchbook with colored paper. It's the it's Shizen Design Journals. Again, you can find these on Dick Blick. They come in all different colors. You can buy them with solid red pages, solid blue pages, but I wanted to try the multicolored one. Um, and I thought this would be fun to use with charcoal and white chalk or graphite. Um, it's, this paper is very thin, so I won't be able to do watercolor or washes or anything like that, but dry media, I think this will be great. And what I actually want to try, let's the back. What I want to try is erasing because I don't know if this is dyed all the way through. I assume it is. Let's see. Yeah, erasing it doesn't take any of the color out. So that's that's pretty neat. This will be fun. It's nice and again, nice and small. I can I like to try to sketch and practice drawing when I'm out and about. So this will be a fun thing to carry around. It's not heavy at all. And I like it has a soft cover. So the next item is the 24 set of Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils. Now I love my Prismacolors, but I find sometimes when I use them, they don't, because they're so soft, they don't get uh, very sharp. I can't necessarily always get very sharp designs and, and details in my drawings. And I know these have harder leads um, because they're oil-based. So I wanted to see what it would be like to use these in combination with my, with my Prismacolors. And I got the 24 set because these aren't cheap. And as much as I want the full set, I thought I better try the smaller set and make sure I like them before I invest the money into get, getting the full set. So this is the first time I'm looking at them. They are beautiful. Look at those gorgeous colors. I love the smell of new art supplies. I can smell them from here. It's not a strong scent, so I hope that doesn't make anybody nervous that I'm saying that these have a scent. Um, they just smell good, like art supplies. They're pre-sharpened. I like that the barrels, the barrels look like they match the leads perfectly. Because they're oil-based pencils, I think they're a little bit more transparent than the Prismacolors. So I'm not sure how these are gonna work in the sketchbook I just showed you, but I know they'll be great on white paper. So as I use these and experiment with them, You'll get to see the videos and you'll, I'll let you know what I think about them. The next thing I have to show you is Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press Black Watercolor Paper. It's 100% cotton paper. And I wanted to try this because I've been using a lot of gouache lately. And I 
been using my gouache on just regular black paper and it's been okay. It hasn't been fantastic because sometimes it can warp when you use too much water and sometimes the gouache can crack when the paper warps. So I figured watercolor paper would be much better. It's not gonna warp as easily. It's going to hold up better. And I can also use this with colored pencils with my Prismacolors. I love using Prismacolors on colored paper because they're so opaque, they show up really well on the paper and you can create some really cool effects working negatively as opposed to working on white paper. So I'm really excited to try this. I can't wait. I will definitely be doing a video about this and letting you know what I think. Um, finding black watercolor paper used to be really difficult. Now there's a few different brands. This is the first one I'm trying. Um, if I like this, I'll probably stick to it because Stonehenge is really good paper. There'd be no point in trying other things unless I found something that was a little bit cheaper. Um, but if this works, I'll definitely be getting more and trying the cold press as well. Now the next couple of things aren't exactly art supplies, but they are art related. So let me grab those. Okay, so the next thing, Ooh, that's some pretty bad glare. Let's see if I can move that. Okay. So the next thing are art books. They are all by James Gurney. He's one of my favorite artists. He has a YouTube channel, actually. Um, he does a lot of watercolor and gouache and oil painting. Um, this one, Imaginative Realism, is all about how to paint realistically but paint things that you wouldn't see in real life, like people riding dinosaurs, for example. I can't wait to flip through this. I've been waiting. I haven't had time to sit down and look at it. So it's absolutely gorgeous. His artwork is amazing. So this one is the imaginative realism. This one is color and light. So again, it helps you um, paint things or draw things that you wouldn't necessarily see in real life. And it explains how light would hit them. So that way you're painting something realistic without having a model necessarily right in front of you. I'm always very motivated to paint scenes in books I read. I read a lot and some books just really inspire me to paint. And a lot of the times I'm stuck and I, I don't know where to begin. So I'm hoping between these two books, I'll learn a little bit about painting what's in my head versus painting what I'm, what I can see in front of me. And the reason why I trust James Gurney, besides the fact that these two books are recommended by tons of different artists and YouTubers, is because James Gurney wrote this book, Dinotopia. And it's all about a world where dinosaurs and people coexist. And the artwork in here is absolutely stunning. This guy really knows what he's doing. I believe he's painted a lot for National Geographic and all different kinds of scientific magazines. So when, you know, maybe they're talking about some ancient cultures or dinosaurs, they'll contact him and he's done illustrations for them. And he's, he's really good. So I hope to gain some of his wisdom and his knowledge and improve my own skills. Let's look at this, this is so cool. So I can't wait to dive into this one too. Okay, a lot of reading to do. Art books are a great gift for any artist in your life. 
there's something about being able to read a book and just have it open and do the exercise that goes along with the book as opposed to watching a, a video and having to pause it and rewind it and um and learn that way i love learning from youtube and from videos but i also really like learning from books so i can't wait to try some of the things in here okay we've got a few more things to look at I think you'll see this better if I hold it horizontally. So I actually ended up with two of these. For some reason, I guess Amazon didn't take it off my list when one person purchased it for me. So a second person also purchased it for me and I am not mad about it at all. I'm actually kind of excited. This is a great little case for traveling and for organizing art supplies. It's the Art Bin Sketchboard. It's got a clip up here where you can put a piece of paper or you can put a sketchbook. Actually, let's try putting the sketchbook I got right under the clip and see how it works. Okay, so if I'm out in the fields, I'm outside and I wanna paint, I don't want the wind blowing my book around, I can just slide this in. Oh, and it works perfect. Put, put it in there and it'll just hold the pages open for me. Oh, that's really cool. All right. I also like this size because I tend, when I work on watercolor, to tape my paper down to a surface and I'll be able to tape it right down to the surface and, and paint that way. And I'll be able to just take it with me. Um, let's peel off this sticker. I don't need that anymore. Okay. The other cool thing about this is there is a latch on the side and you open it up and inside we have another clip. I'll turn it around so you can see it better. This is one side and then the other side has a spot for pencils, a little pocket. You can put, I don't know, erasers, pencil sharpener, or whatever you want in there. And then it lifts up so you can stick paper or a sketch pad or whatever you want. There's a lot of room in here. So I can't wait to load this up and take it with me and it's not heavy at all. So I can throw it in a tote bag if I wanted to. So this is the Spectrafix Pastel Fixative. This is actually an empty bottle. Um, this is the concentrate that you use to fill this bottle. The purpose of this is to spray it over charcoal or graphite or pastel drawings so that way when it's dry, and you run your hands over the graphite or whatever powdered art supply that you used, it doesn't smudge. And I do a lot of charcoal drawings. Um, and normally I use this big can of fixative, um, but it stinks and it, you really got to use it outside. And I'm in New England and I don't want to go outside when it's cold. This is supposed to be safe to use indoors um, and it's actually supposed to be one of the best things you can use on pastel and while I don't use pastel I do use white chalk a lot in my charcoal drawings so um, it's supposed to I guess not not make the white powder disappear when you spray it a lot of the fixatives when you spray when you spray it over white chalk or white pastel it kind of dissolves it and it disappears and this is supposed to not do that so I'm hoping it works you mix this with either vodka or Everclear and then you just shake it up and spray it. So um, yeah, I can't wait to use this. Okay, the last two things I actually purchased for myself. Like I said, I don't buy much for myself when it comes to art supplies. So this isn't super exciting, 
but um, I bought the Canton Pen and Ink sketchbook because I wanted to do Inktober. In Inktober, you do a different ink drawing every day for the month of October. Um, I'll show you what I have so far. This was just practice and it was really bad. I don't normally use ink. But I, I tried to follow the prompts for the month. The first one was crystal, so I did a fortune teller with a crystal ball. Day two was suit, so I decided to do a knight in a suit of armor. This one I, I'm pretty happy with. I used Copic gray markers for that. I actually used them for all of these. Let's see. The next one, the prompt was vessel, so I did some glasses. The next prompt was knot, so I drew a knot. And then day five was raven, so I drew a raven. And this one's my favorite so far, I think. And then um, day six is spirit, and I started a horse because I thought horses have a lot of spirit. It's not quite done. I will show you when it's done. I'll do a full sketchbook flip through at the end of October. So that's something to look forward to. And then this, I wanted just a regular sketchbook for my charcoal and for my graphite. If I wanted to do smaller drawings. Um, and I'm going to show you actually why I purchased this. Or why I asked for this to be purchased for me. I did a little graphite drawing of a bird. And I've been keeping tissue over it. So that way it doesn't smudge when I'm carrying the book around. I'm hoping I can mix up my concentrate and spray this and then I'll be able to drag my hand over it and not have the graphite smear everywhere. I definitely need to do more drawing so I don't lose my skills. I find that I'm watercoloring all the time and I'm not drawing as much and I need to make sure that I balance what I'm doing. And I'm pretty happy with this one, so it, it's definitely going to keep me motivated to do more. So let me put my tissues back so that way they don't smudge until I can spray up my fixative. And I guess while I'm here, I did show this in my last video, um, but I've used it now, so I can talk a little bit about it. This is the Koinor magic lead clutch pencil. So it's similar to the other clutch pencils I showed, but it's got a thicker lead. This is a five point, I think it's 5.6 millimeter lead and it's a rainbow, it's a rainbow lead. And I just grabbed this for gestural drawings. So I did a quick sketch of the Raven before I did it in my other sketchbook just to practice making sure I had my proportions right. And I just love how this looks. It's so much more fun than just using plain charcoal or black pencil. Um, it's super, super soft and it just, it just writes like a dream. It's so fun. And again, I don't have to worry about this getting all over everything because I can just press the top and it falls back inside and I don't need to worry about it getting all over everything wherever I'm storing it. So all of these products you can get on Amazon. You can get most of them from Dick Blick or Jerry's Autorama. Those are my go-to places for art supplies. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite supplies were that I showed you. And let me know what you'd like me to use first and demonstrate first for you. Thank you for watching. And I hope to post a video soon. See you later.